Good morning ladies and gents, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here today to give you a video walk around of this Ford Transit Custom 2 litre TDCI 105 brake horsepower 6 speed manual Euro 6 in trend specification although it does have additional extras which we'll try and run you through in a second oh that's all a bit of a mouthful wasn't it um so this is a one keeper from new van it has been out on lease to auto glass uh, it is the l2 long wheelbase with a h2 high roof um, it has covered 73, call it 74,000 warranted miles with it. In pretty good overall condition, I've got to say. Um, obviously, the purpose of our videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers do buy the vans having watched these videos. Leave a deposit, income and collect or leave a deposit and get a uh, price for delivery. So there's a couple of little different options you've got there to have a think about. As I say, we do warts and all, um, so we'll point out all the little bits on it as well, so you get an idea, as I say, exactly what it is that you're buying. So let's start up here. Now, normally we'd start up right up on the roof, however, too bloody tall for me for that point of view. Now, there is a little bit of damage here. Can you see that? Um, to be fair, it is probably small. Um, it has only just caught it on that little bit on the side there, so um, yeah, it is something that could be sorted if, it's this, if this is the van of your dreams. Now, looking at your nose cone up there on the roof, that's all looking pretty good, okay? Coming down onto your windscreen. Now, this does have the heated quick and clear front windscreen on it. The windscreen is in good overall condition. I don't think there's any stone chips or cracks or anything like that that's going to cause any of us any grief you will always get a little bit of micro chipping on a windscreen but as i say nothing there that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to mot time coming down to your bonnet and the bonnet is in good overall condition so again there are no major stone chips or marks on there what have we got there a little stone chip there we'll get that touched in for you um, so anything that's easily touchable will get sorted out okay um, and then front grills front grill of the van is in good overall condition we have a couple, oh, that dirt, that's actually a fly. There's a couple of stone chips there, a couple of bits of chips, so we'll get those touched in as well. But overall, pretty nice and straight and tidy on the front end there. Passenger side headlamp unit, that's all in good order. You have automatic lights on these. They do have the LED daytime running lights on them. And then front bumper corner on the passenger side also has a factory front fog light fitted to it overall good condition with no major scuffing there is just a little bit of a scratch mark there which again a bit of a touch in that should sort that out but that's right down the bottom there and if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle a couple of things to note there are no major dents or dings to point out to you there is a nice mirror finish to the paintwork um, it hasn't gone dull or anything like that um, so that's all good and then round to the driver's side your driver's side headlamp unit again the automatic DRL version and again your driver's side front bumper corner no major scuffing we have just a little touch in required there and a little touch in required there but we're talking a little for very minor stuff you may have noticed it does have front parking sensors as well as rear parking sensors this van so quite nice on the spec driver's side front wing again overall good condition no major damage to it Driver's side front steel wheel has a factory hubcap on it. Uh, currently has a Hankook tire on there. I'll be honest with you now, I suspect we will be replacing that tire, okay? Um, so um, you'll definitely have a new tire on there. We'll go around all the other tires as we're going around and just handle those accordingly. Mirror unit with integrated ind uh, indicator and your upper and lower mirrors. Those are also in good condition. Driver's side door glass, again, that's all in good condition driver's side door itself is in overall good condition if we're being mega mega fussy there are just some little marks here now i suspect that, that is from having the wrap removed on it we don't get involved with removing the wrap these vans would have been fully wrapped when they were on fleet um, so just a couple of minor little bits of scratch in there we have a minor little ding there behind the handle you can see it's not scratch or anything like that but a little minor ding there on the handle and I think that's just a bit of excess glue there, to be fair, that the lads haven't got off. So that's easily sorted. Your door edges, again, overall good condition. 
getting down low, check out your lower sills. Take note, you can see your lower sills. We do valet them properly, so your lower sills are both in good condition and they're also nice and clean. Right, the plastic, or should I say plastic strip going down the side of the vehicle. Yes, I have people comment on how I pronounce plastic. Um, anyway, um, you got a little bit of damage on it there. Again, nothing major, just a bit of wear and tear. And then your driver's side rear quarter is a huge panel on these vans, isn't it? But that's in overall good condition with no damage. Driver's side steel wheel uh, with a factory hubcap on it. Hubcap's in good order. We do have a Hancock tyre on that tyre and that tyre has plenty on that wheel and that tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth as you can see. Now you do have rear and front mud flaps, so front and rear mud flaps fitted to the van as well. And then again, just looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, take note, you have got a nice reflection in that white paintwork. It's all looking very neat and tidy, isn't it? Rear light unit, driver side, that's all good. Driver side, rear bumper corner, overall good condition. No heavy scuffing, but there are just a couple of minor little marks here. That's a little bit of a rusty hinge, but in actual fact, I think a bit of T-cut will get that uh, cleaned up nicely on it. So doing that but you have got a little a couple of little touch-ins there and then round to the rear of the van as you can see rear barn doors on a 50 50 split the rear barn doors do go all the way to the ceiling on the van as well we have a high level brake light up there that's all in good order if i bring the camera down check out your door edges the door edges are in overall good condition we do have a minor little ding here with a touch-in required next to it now, obviously, I will. Um, I know Ollie likes to watch some of our videos, my valeter, so I'll, uh, I'll make sure I beat him with a heavy stick for not getting the glue off the rear doors here. But this is glue, okay? So that's glue there, glue there, glue there, glue there. That is a touching required there, but you can see there's my finger. It's not massive, is it? Um, so it's just a little bit of excess glue from the wrap that's still on the back of the vehicle, but we'll get that sorted for you. Now, door handle, that's overall good condition. If I open up the doors, have a look inside the van. Obviously, we're battling the sun today, but we shouldn't complain about that, should we? So, inside, bulkhead. You'll notice it does have the opening hatch, which gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seat. The bulkhead itself is in good overall condition with no heavy uh, damage on it or anything. There is some additional LED lighting on the roof of this van as well. Um, and ply lining it is ply lined on the sides but it isn't ply lined on the floor i think with auto glass they tend to remove all of their racking system out the back of the vans so inside of your rear doors overall good condition okay there are signs of wear and tear but nothing major so when you've got stuff like this this is actually just sticker you know glue from a sticker but the metalwork is in overall pretty good condition Flooring inside, if you wanted a ply lining flooring, it's not a major drama. Otherwise, have a look on eBay and you might be able to pick up one of the big plastic uh, resin floors that come uh, with some of these vans. Um, but anyway, yeah, ply flooring, uh, you know, otherwise not too much of an issue. The flooring itself is in overall pretty good condition. A little bit of wear and tear on there, but nothing major. And again, if you're getting the flooring fitted, banging a couple of arches on there, uh, ply arches wouldn't be a major drama either. There's the mats, I'm not hiding anything under the mat. It's the same as the rest of the van. I know I know some people will, will ask that question. No, I'm not hiding anything. A little bit of wear and tear. Looking down the side profile of the van, and again on the passenger side, overall good condition as you can see. Your light unit on the back here, that's in overall good condition. Your bumper corner, again, overall good condition. A couple of minor, minor kind of bits and I'm looking here, there's a couple, a little bit of a scratch there, it's been touched in. Most of that is just from the um, heavy handed removal of the wrap, to be fair. Upper quarter's all good, lower quarter and arch, that's all good. Your uh, factory steel, factory hubcap, that's in good condition. The tyre itself on this side is, as you can see there on the tyre tread depth gauge, it's a Hancock tyre. There's a little bit of wear on the side wall of the tyre from just rubbing up against the kerb, but the tyre itself is in overall good condition. Sliding door this side, again, that's all in good order. Getting down low, check out those lower seals again, and you can see those are also in good condition. We have 
your protective strip going down the side of the vehicle is in good order as well. We do just have a little bit of the red wrap stuck behind that um, that uh, thingy majig there, but I don't think it's a major big deal. And that's a bit of glue. Oh dear, yeah. Go and beat Ollie with a big stick again. That's a bit of glue as well. Um, door handles are good. Door edges, overall good condition. Your passenger front door, overall good condition. Door glass is overall good condition. Mirror unit, a little bit of head ash on the mirror unit. Uh, actual fact, a bit of T-cut should bring that back a little bit. Door glass, uh, sorry, mirror glass, upper and lower is all good. And then your driver's side front wing, overall good condition. Minor, minor little ding there, but it's minimal. And then your front steel, factory steel, factory hubcap with a couple of minor marks on there. Hand cooked tire on that, but that is another one where I'm not happy with that tire. So, rear tires are all good, front tires will replace. Okay, so you'll have a nice set of fresh front tires on that. There's your overview of the passenger side of the van. There is that, just that little bit of damage on the roof there, um, but not a major drama. Pretty easily sorted, I'd have thought. I'm amazed we've missed it up till now. Passenger door card, that's in overall good condition. Handle lock, all good. Your door shuts, as you can see, these are clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics on the passenger side are in good condition. No excessive abuse. Here is your diesel fuel filler at the upper and then your add blue on the lower with the blue cap on it. And then your flooring inside, passenger flooring overall good. Glove box opens, butt pack in there. Dashboard overall clean, tidy condition. Vents are all good. There is your bonnet pull. I'll show you under there in a second. Headlining inside. Neat and tidy, and then your seat trim, as you can see, is clean and tidy as well. Just pop my camera down there so I can just flip this up, and then you can just have a look. Obviously, we've forgotten to valet underneath the seats, um, but uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted out for you. Um, now, under the bonnet. So, Big yellow handle there is your bonnet opener. There's your coolant, and that's the correct color coolant for Ford. There's no contamination in it, it's all good. Bonnet bolts, as you can see, are original paint and all good. We have um, windscreen wash, brake fluid, power steering fluid, oil filler there. Don't worry about the little bit of creamy stuff around there. That's the, and here, because that's just the, um, stuff they spray the uh, the boys of valet spray it on there it makes the engine all nice and shiny and then that just evaporates off but as you can see it's all pretty clean and tidy under here door mirror as i've said that's all good the driver's door card again that's in clean tidy condition as you can see your entry seals and plastics on this side are good your flooring on the driver's side look at that no excessive wear through the floor Pedal rubbers are all good. We have front fog lights, rear fog lights. They are automatic lights on this one as well. Dashboard illumination operated here. And this one will do your headlamp levelers if you haven't got any weight in the back, keep it on zero. We have electric folding mirrors. We have electric windows. We have central locking, cup holders. Dashboard vents are good. We have a 12 volt power and a USB power there. Top of your dashboard, as you can see, is in clean, tidy condition. I'll just jump into the vehicle now. You've got uh, a nice leather multifunction steering wheel on the van. Nice girth, nice girth on that steering wheel. We have voice activation, we have search controls, we have telephone answer, telephone um, busy. Um, actual fact, if I just fire it up, as you can see, 73,953 miles. Fires up fine, no warning lights on it at all. Um, other than to say that I haven't got my um, seat belt on and the handbrake is on. Now you've got multifunction display, which is controlled through this button on here. So you can run through there and run through all of your various different um, dashboard options that you can have on it. it. Does have driver assist system on it, DAB, FM and AM with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music over here. 
there are your blower fans, etc. Your hazard warning light is there. We have another 12 volt power there. We have a six speed manual gearbox here. We do have cup holder there. Um, we have adaptive cruise by the looks of it on here with speed limiter, volume controls are on this side as well. Looks like we've got lane at keep assist on there as well. That's what that, uh, that's, um, yeah, there you go, lane keeping system on. Um, so there we go, that will shake you and do whatever if you start going over the white lines. And then we've got uh, wipers on this side as well. In between your seats, hopefully you can see, clean and tidy. And that's about it, basically. So auto lights, um, I might have auto wipers. You've definitely got a quick clear front windscreen. You've definitely got DAB, FM and AM. You've definitely got cruise control with speed limiter. You have electric windows with electric folding mirrors. Uh, lane keep assist. Not a bad little spec van, is it really? And there we go, my friends. So there are gonna be 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation. We have reviews, Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. We've got presents and all of those. Uh, and we've got reviews on our own website as well. Uh, there we go. Um, thanks very much for looking at the video. As I say, nothing too major on it. There's a few bits of cosmetic stuff. Um, all fairly easily sortable um, and obviously there's a little bit of wear and tear on the van as well but overall if you're looking for a nice presentable long wheelbase high roof van this is the one for you maybe have a think anyway thanks folks and there's about 17 minutes of your life you're never going to get back but well done in making it through this far cheers